All right, guys, so we're back here at the mall. We're going to go check for some cool toys. We're going to go to Hot Topic right now and see if they have anything interesting for us today. It's been hella hot this whole week, guys, so stay hydrated. Uh, it's pretty cool today. Probably in the 70s, 80s, right? No, 80s? 70s? All right, we're here at Hot Topic. Free cheese. Oh, they got Toy Story stuff. Oh, I just saw a badass shirt. I'm gonna show you guys right now. They have more, they have a bunch if you guys wanna come get some. But, do a shirt. We oh, have a mysterious, mysterious shirt. And they have some Toy Story stuff too. So look at the Sheikha Planet hat, they have a Toy Story shirt. They have an alien shirt. Feminine and Beyond shirt. They have a dress for women or a long shirt. They have this. They have pretty cool stuff. A hot topic. So this is a special, guys. Buy one, get two free. So see? So you guys, you guys buy two of these, you get a third box for free or whatever. I guess it's like, the has to be equal or lesser value. So they have the lines and stuff too. Not for the Except the long sleeve. But other than that, everything's uh, buy one and get to free. Right, so we came to the back side of Hot Topic where they have the pop and they have Cruella. Oh, look, they have Dragon Ball Z pops. Simpsons. This is the show they got. They have a Lion Keep Hot Topic. I think it's a Funko box. Cause this is three piece, one piece in the back. It doesn't say Funko, but Oh wait, it does say Funko. It's right there. It's a Funko. Alright guys, now we're gonna head out to FYE. And see what they got. We can have some Pokemon stuff back here. A little bit. We have some cool dolls here. Pennywise. Tiene dos cabezas. Ooh, nice. Right, so we saw round, but there wasn't. There wasn't anything that kind of got our interest for video. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff. That's something I want to do now. So, we're going to go to my other favorite store. We're going to go to Trim Toys. It's all the way over in the back. You guys can see it right here. Uh, we'll probably look for uh, Power Rangers, the Venom, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And if we don't find anything good, then I'm going to go back to the Hot Topic and get that uh, Funko Box. Because I want to see what's inside. We couldn't open it, it had plastic all around, and they didn't have a picture on the side. We'll see, we'll see. Spencer's! Alright, we're going to Extreme Toys again. Yeah. Right there. That's pretty cool. Oh, they have a Millennium Falcon too. I didn't see that one last time. It's pretty cool. Saw Batman? Where's Batman? Where's Batman? Batman. Yeah, Batman. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Alright, so look into the store, guys. They have set up some new stuff. Like they have some Godzilla stuff here. Look pretty sick. And just throw this store guy. Put better stuff. Every time I come here, look. Like they get better and better. Oh look, look at this Batman right here. Looks pretty sick. Then you have a dead one, another Batman down here. Deadpool. 
Well, we already went shopping for our action figure or toy and we got something pretty cool. Hopefully you guys like it and I'll see you guys at home on the unboxing. Peace. And we're back home. Thankful thankfully we're safe home to do this unboxing of this cool new toy I got from Extreme Toys as you guys just saw. And today I'm gonna have a little partner to help me out and I'm gonna let my wife choose who's been, who from back here is gonna join me on this little quick dance that we're about to do. So go ahead and choose. She said beast. Maestro, hit the music. And now we have a cool action figure to review. I'm gonna show you guys, I got a freaking Godzilla. That's right, a Godzilla. Or how Mr. Chris Tucker likes to say, Gaika, Gaika. Yeah, right, when Godzilla's coming, y'all be tripping. I seen the movie, you be Gaika, Gaika. Huh? Huh? <laughs> then you have uh, the summary of the Godzilla in there. And the back, it shows you the other action, uh, other action figures that they'll be having. These two and then Godzilla. I want to get these two to complete the set. And of course, it's by NECA. You can see right there. Bleep. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And then inside the Godzilla box is... Godzilla has a long tail so it does not fit in the box so the tail is vertically standing right in the back I don't know if you guys can see it. it's right in the back um, and at the bottom it, ha it comes with instructions to tell you how to put the tail uh, just in case you get lost you know it has a one step one and two that's it uh, it's two easy steps I think uh, we're gonna find out so let's open the box right. see here we go guys I'm about to take Godzilla out Ooh. So here's uh, the manual I was telling you about. See, two easy steps. Which step one reads, dip the tail in warm water for about 20 seconds. Step two, join both tail ends by connecting the lower tail with the ball joint as per image above. So I was reading that's so I was reading it upside down. Um, so you just have to do that. See, so dip it in your coffee and then attach it to uh, the Godzilla in the back. That's a damn string right there. So now we uh, have taken this string out from the Godzilla. This is the artwork that comes in the box. See, it's pretty cool. It's a boat, ship, whatever. You see the tail's right here. So we got the tail with the bolt of the joint, and then we have the tail end. So now, so you gotta get your cup of coffee which we have right here not sponsored by flash and then we gotta dip the joint for 20 seconds right there one join both tail ends by connecting the lower tail with the ball joint as per image shown above so now we gotta do this step grab it dun, 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 dun. kinda hard kinda hard to grab it cause this thing pokes you we got it in there so now let's move our cup of coffee which is just water now we can see our Godzilla figure right there. Boom, how beautiful is that? All the detail in the back. And I think it said it had more than 25 points of articulation. You know, not bad. It has elbow movement right there on both sides. It has wrist movement as well. Wow. Its head moves. Oh, its mouth moves. No way. It's mouth move, that's freaking sick. Uh, no, no neck movement, just, I mean, you do have the head, but then you got the neck, got the shoulders, has a little bit of uh, hip movement in there, pretty cool. A little bit up and down, you can't really go because of the back part of Godzilla here, you can't really uh, bend it down because it, it crashes right here. So you can't really bend it down there. Uh, but it moves outside to side a little bit, and then you got the, the legs movement, the knee movement in there. And also you have uh, the, the ankle movement down here, which is pretty cool right there. And then the tail, of course, it moves. The only thing, you could tell the big difference of uh, where the tail goes in because it's a different color. And then from this part right here, you can see, so this part is all grayed out. You guys can tell that it, it's extra. And then right here, it changes to a different color. 
it, it doesn't become consistent. You could, I would like at least if like up to here it was the same color as this, because then it will fade and you could tell it was. You wouldn't be able to tell. Um, it was it was an extra part, but because of the color it switches really quick, uh, you can kind of tell it's it's different. It's not it's not like a big thing, but it's just my thing. I, like it would have just faded around here. Uh, but it's pretty cool though. Like the detail in it is sick. So the tail moves from where the, you attach the joint. The tail has a lot of movement. So as it from here, so you can see, and then it switches from here, and then from here to this little movement, to this other movement, to this other other movement here, and then this movement at the end. A lot of, and you could move the tail however you want. Oh, what comes out? <laughs> They're all they're all attached with joints as well. So this one came off. I I bend it too much. Be careful with that. It attaches easily, and um, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like this Godzilla. It looks pretty sick. I really love how it moves the mouth. Then of course I have another surprise for you guys. Here's the other surprise, which it's a, a little Godzilla. This one was. Uh, $7.99. It was a 1984 Godzilla. Is the one you like? Yeah. It was a 1984 Godzilla version, a mini. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. You can move his uh, feet, his arms. That's about it. <laughs> Only his two arms and his two legs you can move. Other than that, everything is stiff. But it's pretty cool to add it to your collection, you know, right there. Mama? <laughs> Tell me in the comments below what do you guys think of the Godzilla action figures. If you guys can't wait for the other two monsters to come out, uh, which I can't wait, and I will be reviewing them as well. The end of June, they'll, they'll be popping up in the shelf, so if you guys are lucky, go ahead and get them. Uh, I recommend Godzilla. It's pretty sick. Add it to your collection. This is the uh, King of the Monsters version, Godzilla. Alright guys, so tell me in the comments below what do you guys think of these two uh, action figures. Rawr, rawr. So we've reached the end of the video guys. Thank you for sticking around, watching me vlog, watching me show you guys where I go and shop for my toys. And of course for watching the unboxing of these cool action figures that I hope you guys add to your collection as I am adding to mine. Go get it yourself. It was only 25 bucks, 30 bucks. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell to so you can get notified when I post another video every Friday. Hit the like button, give it a big thumbs up, and comment below what you want to see next, what you liked about this video, what you didn't like. And of course, I'll see you guys next Friday.